What's up guys, welcome to Deuterium Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you the different settings in ROG Armory 2 that you can set for your ROG mouse, or in this case the Asus TUF Gaming M3 mouse. So, if you haven't already, download the ROG Armory 2 app from this link. I'm going to put it in the description, so just click on that and then go to... Let's uh, refresh this. Okay, support, go to driver and tools, select your operating system, and then download ROG Armory. So after you download, install it. It's just uh, an easy install, no special settings that needs to be set, and then launch the app. You may need to restart your computer though, but in my case, I haven't restarted it. So the first set of options that you could that you will see is the settings for the buttons. So you can change for the left button, you cannot change, but for the right button until the number nine button, the forward button, this button, you can set it. So uh, different things the different things that we could select are mouse function so that's a left click right click scroll up um, the usual mouse function or you could set it to disable you can also set it to double click or you could set it as a keyboard function so it could be let's say shift or control or shift and control in this case you can also do a control a shift control a let's clear that you have to click cancel so that it would be cleared. So keyboard function, you can hit control A. Hit OK if you're good with it, cancel if you want to cancel it. You can also set your mouse buttons to use a macro by selecting macro and then select a saved macro that you already have. So you define that macro here on this page. We're going to talk about that later. Once you're happy, just click OK. And you can also set it as a window shortcut. So that shortcut is to close an app, show desktop, cut, copy, paste, undo. So what Close Apps does is the active app that you have. Let's say, for example, I open up Notepad. Close App, middle click. So you have it active. If I click uh, middle mouse, it closes. So that's what Close Apps does. It doesn't close everything. It just closes your active app. So another thing is Show Desktop. So what this does is just it shows the desktop. So if you have a number of files open like Notepad, Microsoft Word, if you hit your middle mouse, which I have set here, middle button, show desktop, okay. Middle mouse and then just hides everything and shows the desktop. Now let's put that back to default. So you can also set it to do multimedia functions such as volume up, volume down, mute, play, pause, previous track, next track, stop. So that's very similar to the buttons that you see on some keyboards. Those are multimedia buttons and it will also do that if you set it here. You can also change scroll click scroll up and scroll down uh, the dpi up and the dpi down number six and number seven is are these two buttons so seven is dpi down six is dpi up and the backward and the forward buttons are eight and nine button number eight and number nine the ones that are on the side so once you're happy with what you have set you just click save and next you can change uh, different uh, behaviors of your mouse so the one on the left side leftmost side is dpi so you can set the dpi by dragging this slider and you will see that the dpi changes of course you have to save it after you change it setting the dpi is just you know clicking the dpi up or dpi down uh, functions that you have set in the previous button menu the next setting is the polling rate the polling rate is the number of times per second your mouse reports its position to your computer so 1000 hertz it means thousand times a second so this setting would affect the smoothness of your mouse movement so by default it's 500 but you can set it up to 1000 the next setting is button response so this is the amount of time between the button click and when your computer recognizes the button click so this is only for button click not mouse movement and the last in this page is angle snapping so angle snapping you have two settings one is disabled the next is enabled so what this does is the system predicts the movement of your mouse so if you if it thinks that you're moving your mouse in a straight line uh, straight line horizontally uh, vertically so uh, right now disable it for a while you can see that it's uh, I'm trying to draw a straight line but it's no I couldn't get a straight line now if you enable it it's much much easier anyway the next is lighting so you have four options static so that's a static color breathing it turns on and off for a specific color 
You also, you also can set the LED brightness. Color cycle, it cycles through all the colors. Or reactive. Reactive means every time you click on it or you, you click any button in the mouse, it lights up. And you can also set macros using this application. So you just click on this small plus button, select the macro, hit record, and then press anything that you need. So this is very useful when playing games. After you finish recording, press stop, and then save. Or you can clear it, and re-record again, stop, and then save. Or if you want to delete it, just hit on delete. You can use this three-dotted button to load any macros that you've already saved. So each time you save a macro by clicking this button, it creates a file, a GMAC file. So that's uh, the files that you can load. So what you can do here is to back this up if you want your settings to be saved somewhere in case you want to switch computers and you don't want to recreate your old macro. So you just back this up, put it in a thumb drive, and then copy it into your other computer. You can also change how Armory 2 records your macros by clicking this button, this gear icon here. You can tell it to record the delays or set a default delay or no delay. So for example, we set a default delay of one second, create a new macro and then record everything. All the delay of the keys are one second. So it stop and then no delay. There will be no delay between the clicks. So it's going to immediately do that as fast as possible. The other settings that you can click here is the toggle. What the toggle mode does is every time a certain key is pressed, the system would toggle between that key being held down and released. For example, let's create a new macro, set it to toggle, press 1. Stop and then save. Let's show notepad. Now I have bound it to number 9 button, so yep. It's okay, it's okay. Now we go back here. I'm going to press the button and it will just continuously press the key. This includes a 58 millisecond delay because that's the delay of my press. If I click it again, it stops. Now let's try no delay and see what happens. Set to no delay and then toggle. Hit record. Just one button. Save. So it types one as fast as possible because it simulates that number one key is being held down. Now next is you can sync this, uh, you can sync the effects of your peripheral, of your mouse, to any other peripheral that uses ROG Armory 2, that like keyboards and headsets. You also have stats. So what this does is it records your left click, right click distance, your mouse move, and actions per minute. I think this is the most important. It is very important in RTS games like StarCraft. So you have to hit record first, and then it would record your mouse statistics. That's all the settings that you can set for the Asus TUF M3 gaming mouse using the ROG Armory 2 application. Thank you for watching. Hit like if you like this video, dislike if you dislike it, let me know in the comments what you think, and don't forget to subscribe.